In this video, we're going to cover how to use the scope meter trend plot function. We're going to start out by selecting some readings. We'll hit the scope button. Our readings are already turned on. We can see channel A set for volts PWM and channel B for frequency. We want to add a reading to that list. We'll hit the F2 button. We'll highlight the number 3 with F1. Right now it's off. We can arrow up, put it on channel B, hit the enter key, and then change that to read whatever we like. In this case, we'll go with amps AC. We'll hit enter. And now you can see three readings up here in the top of the screen. We're ready to start a recording. We'll hit the recorder button for that. Trend plot will take those readings that we had highlighted and trend them. We'll simply hit the enter key. We'll choose not to have the auto reset or control our gain, so we'll say no with F4. Yes might be a good option, but we'll say no. And you start to see your recordings, your readings coming across the screen. All three are there right now. We can actually record for up to 22 days with resolution down to two minutes. You can see your amperage is the bottom trace, your frequency on channel B is the middle one, and your voltage being the top. When you're ready to stop, you hit F1 to stop the recording. You've got options that you can set up, which are good to look at, as far as how you record the data, time of day or from the start. So you can have elapsed time or the actual time to come back and review the data. When it comes to analysis, I might want to turn on a cursor. We start off with two cursors that give us a delta between the two positions. I want to choose a single cursor by selecting F1. And I can move that now with my arrow keys back onto the actual recording and see the voltage, frequency, and current at that point in time. If I want to save, I hit the save button. F1 to save, and I can record and save up to two recordings and setups for trend plot. And that's how you use the scope meter trend plot function.